Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing good and happy to learn together. In this video, I am going to explain a one question, one frequently asked question about the difference between select single and up to one rows. So here we are going to understand why we need a single and what are the properties of single. Then we will compare between single and up to one rows and we are going to refer what the product documentation says about these two which is which is which is good for the performance wise okay so we'll see those things as well so let's get into the slide so first thing is about single we are going to learn about the keyword single so normally if you write any select it try to get more than one data from your database table so if that, if that is the case, in a map, that particular select is, is going to act as a loop to get all the records from your database table. So if it is a loop, you have to conclude it with the help of nSelect. But it is not feasible to keep a select as a loop, so meaning it will touch your database for every record. Okay, So it is not needed because select has a property of fetch all the data in one stage or one time okay so for that the single has designed it will take one exact record what record you need actually based on your work condition uh, it's it's like a work area it takes a work area without ending a loop it's not a loop so that is the reason we have the keyword called single so the preferable option for single, if you're going to use a single keyword in your select, so the option is you have to use all the primary keys in the var condition. It's a preferable, it's not mandatory, but if, if you use that way, then you'll get a performance better. Okay, so that is the idea. So you have to use all the primary keys in your var condition. So this is about select. Let's get into the actual one. What's the difference? So um, I can say scenarios or difference, okay, for your better understanding. So you can frame your own answers. Select single is preferable to get a row with all primary key fields. Okay, and it's not like uh, can I use partial? If yes, but I'm I'm talking about in the performance wise how maximum we can utilize this uh, single keyword one rows is possible to get one row with partial primary key fields also okay it depends so you don't have a primary key better you go with up to one rows okay and then means you, you don't have value for the all the all the primary keys i'm saying and select single is used to check the existence of the data in your database it is not for taking the data from database layer to application layer okay so better use the select single only to verify the data existence in your database table okay but up to one rows is but i need some i need some manipulation or i'm going to use the record further for my program if that is a scenario just go with up to one rows okay so i i hope you clear on this so you don't want a data, but I want to just check the data is available. Please go with select single, but I need a data for further manipulation. Go with up to one rows. And here it's no end select because select single is not act as a loop, but still up to one rows act as a loop. You need an end select on this. And about the performance. So a select statement with the addition of single can be optimized for reading a single row. So which means somewhat faster they are saying it's a very good performance compared to up to one rows definitely no but somewhat performance wise because anyways it's going to work just fraction of a second so um, comparatively select single has better performance okay um, using addition up to one rows um, I, i'll this is actually i took it from the documentation of this sap product so i'll show you that also and so a few things about uh, maybe addition of uh, for better understanding so how do i check the existence of any record in a database table using this option so select single about true uh, from ekkvo and into data this is some um, 
local variable where abelian equal to this one. So this variable is going to hold the value of x or an empty space because above true is nothing but a boolean data type. So that is the value is going to store over here. So this is just check existence of the data. It, it is not going to take anything, any related information about this PO back to the application here. And the additions like for all entries ordered by up to, it cannot be used together with single. And the single also cannot be used in any open cursor or sub queries. So these are some addition points about select single. Okay. That's it. Uh, I will show you that product documentation also. This is the documentation from help.sab.com about select single. So what and all and what are the options you can use and I am just looking about the performance what the product says so this is what I just copied the exact thing whatever is um, colored here to my PPT so a statement with action single can be optimized for reading a single row which means is generally somewhat faster than when using the addition of up to one rows okay so this was I want to uh, give as a reference as well. Just go through this uh, help document. It has more options about single and then about up to one rows. Okay. So hope this video might be useful for you. Just go through it. If you have any doubt, let me know. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.